Oculus Rift detected. In March, we took a look at the VR web browser Firebox. We expressed excitement for the application's potential to deliver on a vision of an open metaverse of interconnected 3D spaces. At the time of writing, Firebox was on version 18.2 and already had lots of interesting experimental rooms to check out. Since then, creator James McRae has released a number of updates, the latest being 21.5. The application has also been renamed Janus VR. Hello, and welcome to the Virtual Construct of the Furious Angels. This rebrand is a smart move. The previous association with an established web browser was arguably misleading. Not only because the project has no affiliation with the web browser Firefox, but also because thinking about Janus VR in terms of visiting your favourite web pages is to grossly miss the point of the application's potential. It is increasingly evolving into a unique platform for VR exploration experiences, something which, for the user at least, bears little resemblance to browsing the web, even if it still relies on web protocols. Recent enhancements to Janus VR include increased support for 3D object textures and greater flexibility in the sizing and positioning of doorways between the rooms. The most exciting new feature though is the introduction of support for video files. These video files can even be wrapped around 3D objects, although I can't see this being used as anything more than a gimmick. One good example of this new video support is a VR cinema room by Oculus Hut, complete with staggered seating. The whole room is under 200 kilobytes in size, excluding the video stream, which is an impressive feat in keeping the room load times down. This cinema room is one of the default bookmarks for the latest version of Janus. There is another video room now part of the default bookmarks, but I'll talk about that later. Another of the new features that's pretty cool is the ability to record ghosts of your avatar and then populate your rooms with these ghosts. This brings Lee Nolan's VR site's hub to life, as you see what appears to be other users looking around and going about their business. It acts as a powerful reminder that if Janus could support multiple users existing in the same space together, it would be a significant enhancement to the experience. Of course, this kind of feature is pretty complex, so understandably it's not likely to be as high on the priorities list as further enhancements to room building options or even something like controller support. These ghosts are a pretty good stopgap though, that gesture at what's to come. They also provide new layers of possibility for anyone interested in trying to create a McKenna type narrative experience for Janus. As for the state of the VR web itself, it is growing rapidly. The VR Sites Hub is beginning to get huge, now spanning almost three stories. There does remain a curation problem though, with too many doors being essentially dead. This could potentially be alleviated by using ghosts set to dart between only the most popular pages, to give the user an indication of quality. User Nukemarine has been experimenting with different ways of handling text content in a 3D space by splitting out paragraphs into billboards that you might walk past or even through in a narrow corridor. There is a retro looking Game Boy world and a Minecraft room as well. Doctor Who fans will definitely get a kick out of the TARDIS which is, of course, bigger on the inside.
When I first tried Firebox, my first instinct was to tell the world about it, and my second instinct was to build a room for it. I'm extremely pleased to announce that Virtual Reality Reviewer now has a room in Janus VR. The room contains 14 of our latest videos, which we'll be updating weekly, so now you can keep up to date on VR from within VR. Many thanks goes to James McRae, who helped us out with this room. You'll find it bookmarked in the latest build, 21.5. Download Janus VR and check it out. It is the third door from the right on the bottom floor. If you're watching this video from within our Janus room, then welcome, and please do give us your feedback. If you're interested in creating your own rooms for Janus VR, then you should definitely head over to oculushut.com, which has a ton of useful and interesting how-to videos. Janus VR is really coming along, and if you haven't already done so, then you should definitely take a look. The passion that James McRae and all of the other enthusiasts display for this project is palpable and infectious. Oculus VR themselves should be paying attention to these guys, and maybe even think about giving some of them jobs.